I am Professor Dr. Kutikupula Surya Rao from Shakapatnam, Andhra Pradesh. I am a family physician. Formerly, I was World Health Organization collaborator on AIDS series. I am a Guinness World Record holder for the largest awareness red ribbon to bring awareness about HIV AIDS in the community and I am proud to say that our red ribbon made in India was exhibited in London for two years in Anfield football stadium and I am a Padma Shri awardee from the government of India in 2008. Family medicine is the mother of all medicines and first the family medicine is the only medicine that has born anywhere in the world. From family medicine only, lot of offshoots have come, general medicine, clinical medicine, so-called biochemistry, pathology, neurology, endocrinology. For everything, family medicine is the mother. And a family medical specialist is the frontline soldier for any infection, any epidemic which comes in the community. Not only that, if the family medicine structure is strong in any state or any country, the poverty will come down drastically. Because in India, the family medicine is not being recognized by people and government as well. The lot of overheads on a common man. Because every case, say in Britain, I worked there, Anybody has to go to first the family medical specialist. Then only he has to refer the individual either to neurology or endocrinology or gynecology. But in India, even the poorest of the poor man, when he has a headache, he is neglecting family medicine specialist because there are no family physicians now. In the olden days, every royal family and even the poor family is it to have a family doctor. Whatever happens in the family, first they will go and consult the family doctor. Now even for headache, they are going to neurophysician and neurosurgeon. Even for a diarrhea, they are going to gastroenterologist. Therefore, the family medicine needs a facelift. The family medicine has to be recognized by the government of Telangana, the government of Andhra Pradesh, and let many family physicians come into the front line, thereby the people of the state will get benefited. Otherwise, the poverty will go day by day due to the indiscriminate and indisciplined way of health system in the state. Family medicine, in fact, we are calling today like that, but it was general medical practice. That is only family medicine. And general medical practice is as old as man. Even on the earth, when people have started originating some sort of health, whether it is a modern health or it is a Ayurveda health or a Irish health, somewhere, everywhere, the practicing physician, they are all coming under the family medicine practice only. Today, we are given a modern world, MD family medicine, in order to make it as a speciality. But the basic MBBS doctor is always a family physician. You see, basically in India, people are looking for recognition. However, worth is the degree, unless it is recognized by the government, unless government creates a cadre post for family medicine. The MBBS doctors, soon after their MBBS, they are going for a PG. Why? Because Existence is very difficult today with simple MBBS. At the same time, if family medicine has got a cadre and if the family physicians are also posted in uh, primary health care centers and in uh, urban centers and in medical colleges as a specialists, then definitely the family medicine has got a bright future. And the government also should make every medical college to start a family medicine course. And the government should not give license without starting family medicine post-graduation 
in the at least upcoming medical colleges. Then only the doctors who are finishing MBBS will try to opt for MD family medicine and family medicine will get its recognition not only at the level of the common man but also at the level of the higher officials and the government and the government should bring a law that every patient should go to family med family medical physician or family medical specialist first. Once he refers only, then only the specialized neurology or physiology or your gynecology, they would examine. Otherwise, they might refuse the patient. Okay, you may say human rights. I agree for the human rights. At the same time, we must guide the people on the right path for which we are telling, not that we are violating human rights. We see that the people should get the better health only when a family medicine is getting recognition, then only we get the real recognition for the family medicine.